Hello everybody, Killer Tia here. We are taking a quick look at some of the new Amiibos being released by Nintendo. First up is the new Metroid Amiibos for the um, upcoming Metroid, Samus Returns. Um, I would love to see if, if they would have brought back Samus' fusion suit, but the cars and mines are pretty awesome and they have, of course, the particular Metroid itself. And the last pieces of the Super Smash Bros. Amiibos. Bayonetta, Bayonetta Player 2. Oh, the original should have been Player 1. We got Cloud, Cloud Player 2, Corrin, and Corrin Player 2. And of course, we got brand, brand new Splatoon Amiibos here. Hopefully, not just a reskin of the original Amiibos. And right now, we got some Fire Emblems right here Tiki and Chrome. <laughs> he finally became an Amiibo. And we got some Pikmin Amiibos as well. And right over here we have Super Mario Odyssey Amiibos. And look at that. Mario, Peach, and Bowser's all in their white suits. <laughs> I gotta say, Bowser looked kind of snazzy in his suit. And then down below we have the um, Koopa Troopa and the Goombas here. But if we go in, here's a better look of uh, Peach in her white wedding dress. And lastly, we have the Zelda Amiibos, specifically from the Breath of the Wilds here. We got Mintha, Ravel, uh, what's his name, Doku, and Uroboa. I hope I'm pronouncing their names correctly. And then down here, we got the classic Zelda Amiibos of Link from Skyward Sword, Link of Majora's Mask, and Link of Twilight Princess. We another Twilight Princess Amiibo, so yeah, these look like pretty cool Amiibos here. I would love to own them all, but I want to at least finish up the Super Smash Bros. ones first, which once again down there. And yeah, overall, I do like how they look, how they design, and some of the details they have in there as well. So keep it here for more E3 coverage.